Hey guys, it's Free Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 9 of Wonderful Pretty Curse. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I literally don't. Oh, no, no, no. I think this is the episode where Komogi's going to school, right? Yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're getting distracted. <laughs> okay. Oh, so come on, you can go to school. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wear shorts. <laughs> yeah, me too. New girl.
Is she gonna try to catch the <laughs> No Kawagi <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, good job, good girl. Okay, you gotta act like a normal school girl, babe. That means, you know, not jumping a minute, trying to get a soccer ball, and, you know, expect praise from your owner. There you go. You want to join the soccer team or something? <laughs> Ow. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Baby, it's just like, I am on fire. I need this. Let's go. Oh no. Oh, come on, you know. No.
Yeah, me too. Uh oh. Yeah, of course. Sleepy. Oh no! Yeah. It's a puppy dog for ya. Now, I mean, my thing is, why would you initially try to touch it? Come on, now. The smart thing to do is go get a teacher, principal, someone. And be like, hey, don't know what this is. Right? Yeah. Like Cody when I go to work. He always wants to be with me. No, that's a gotta gotta egg. Yeah, and then it falls. What are you going to do? Come on, he. Dude is so freaking hard at it. No! You know what that reminds me of? You know how anytime, like, let's say your dog gets out and you have to run after the dog. And the dog think it's fun. It's all fun and games until you, ha you finally catch the dog and you be like, hey, yo. No. 
太水嘞。Bird. That makes sense. It's like a like a duckling. Bye. It's so cute, though. Look, he just want to be down and be in the water. <laughs> That's all. Yeah, it is cute. But don't get too distracted. Huh? That's what I meant by distraction. Yeah. Oh, okay. Look <gasps> at Time to go home. He's so cute. Oh my god. <gasps> <laughs> no. Yeah, get all the 
the pants. No, we can't use them yet. <laughs> you want to join the soccer team? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I think now that basically means no to joining soccer overall because you know she just wants to be with her owner 24-7 Yeah, it's not fun all the time. Well, guys, we finally learned that the dog can read and write today. <laughs> but no, seriously. The fact is that Homeboy was just like, yes, I need her to join the soccer team. Like, she is everything. She has the potential, the mark, to become someone even greater on our team to take our team to the next level. Like, look how she handled that freaking goal. Good behind goalkeeper and such. But that's only because, you know, he always plays with her. <laughs> so, of course, she's going to have, like, the best talent with the ball and such. Okay, I love the fact that this week's monster was a duck. Especially because it looks so cute whether it was black or yellow. Oh my god! Like, the baby! Oh my god. But no, like, yes. That is also the, um... Oh, shoot, excuse me. The looks can be deceiving cliche where it's like, yeah, oh my god, the duckling's not going to do anything to us. We got this in the bag. And he just swims off for a good moment, turns around, looks at him, gets some water in its mouth, and just blows it at him. Yeah. <laughs> that was something. So, yeah, never uh, overestimate, like, underestimate any animal. That we see in this show that these girls go through and such. Um, I love the fact that Komogi, and, and it's also the other girl too. They're the only two wearing shorts. I think that's really cool. This is going to make me cry next week. Oh my god, I'm not ready for that. But because of this now, we're getting closer and closer to the fact that these two are finally going to become our next two girls and magical for pretty curious and ish. Thank freaking lord. Uh, once again, as I've always said, like, yes, love me some Komogi and Aroha, because those are my babies and such, especially who their voice actors are and, you know, their other roles that they have done and such. But I am ready to see our next group of girls leading into it. Now, the, the girl who also was wearing matching shorts with Komogi, I know a lot of us have talked in the fandom that she could potentially possibly be um, a character... Excuse me. A character in the running of possibly being the final hero. I'm still... My, my thing is Sasuke. I, I want them to continue that new tradition of making guys into magical... Um, magical boys and making them into pretty gear because it paves the way for, like, so many other characters. Make it 
it, it already is normal, but just continue it. And just, I think that would make a lot of people even more happy. But it, it's kind of still, once again, obvious that it's going to be him because of the fact is we have two girls or, yeah, four characters, two, two girls and two animals. Complete that roster with one other character and an animal. Duh. Because we don't know about the girl with the red hair, like, as much, because we're only really now nine episodes into this show. Um, maybe they could do something with her, but we just gotta wait and see. That's the thing. And, and you know, me, I'm just like, I'm gonna know now and, and such, but no, I'm okay with waiting, honestly. But yeah, this episode was really sweet. I loved seeing her at school. I just hope she really does, um, after the conversation, her and you all have had, Komogi really take school seriously. We don't want her to, like, you know, fail and get kicked out and such, so I get it. Like, yeah, you know, new girl on the block, and you know, yeah, but she's got this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Other than that, guys, that is my action review towards episode 9 of Wonderful Pretty Here. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday slash Sunday for episode 10, but until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!